Why you always do that? I be sitting next to you. <laughs> Back again is if you will, it's your boy will, aka Kibbles. One third, if you will, one third, Ooh. Duke and Kibbles. Ooh. A whole <laughs> pound. Been a long time since we did that. Yeah, yeah, boy, you stumbled on the words. Stumbled in the just a little bit. I, you know, I ain't, I ain't had to do these words in a while. It's been challenges upon challenges upon challenges. We're back in the building, my girl, and then you in the building. Hey, hey. I, 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 I still was outside. Outside, shit. You know. Going mobile, you know what I'm saying? Going mobile. Yeah. My boy, A and Bill. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Excited, too. Couldn't wait to get back. It's my shit right here, y'all. This man been waiting for three months to do another show. Hey man, I thought he was gonna break it. I thought he was gonna break it down for. I thought he was gonna say one half of Duke Kip, one third, one third, Ricky Ricky, one third, <laughs> one third, one whole pound. As Daniel said, I guess he tired of being 0 for 7, 0 for 6 in these challenges. <laughs> so he needed a, a restart to his cell. He's like, let me get back to my, my basics. So I can restart for the next challenge. Let me get back to the basics. Yeah, come back. You know, you know the Brian do. No. You know, he wait till one fucking all-star game. Then he start, start playing real. So this is just a brief intermission. My nigga's prepared to set the LeBron James. <laughs> hey, TV land, y'all feel me? 0 for 7. This <laughs> oh, for the fans out there, y'all. It's been three months, but we're back. We're gonna get this podcast going tonight. What you got for us, man? Man, man we didn't had a lot of stuff happen while we've been regrouping and taking our brief intermission, ain't we? I mean, we got we got a new president. New president. Everybody getting COVID vaccines. Everybody getting COVID. <laughs> but you know, life is good, man. How's work? Go ahead, let the people know what them kids doing. Promotion, man. Promotion, promotion, promotion. Yes, sir. It's been a while since I told you. My new name is Old Slick Rick Head Ass. Really? Old Old Slick Slick Rick Head Head Ass. Head Ass. (laughs) Head Work. Old Slick Rick Head Ass. We ain't had that in a minute. Oh, Slick Rick Head Ass. And he got braces in it. Oh, Slick Rick Head Ass. We look a little bit of Slick Rick Head Ass. Man, them kids is hilarious, man. Yeah, man, it ain't that's about it. Man, you're just saying shit different days. Kids I, crazy. Hey, shout out to the kids though. We was FaceTiming it while you was at work. What'd he say? He said, You my favorite, Mr. Herb. Yeah. <laughs> he lied to this man. He told this man, Oh yeah, you you the favorite. You the favorite. You the favorite, you are a favorite. I'm just, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Damn, I'm hating. I'm hating. I'd only be a favorite to them if I was showing ass and titties. Come on, shut up. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Yeah. If you, she's doing a silhouette challenge, they be up there. Uh, <laughs> no might problem. have to do one of those. Might have to do might one of those. To. Hey, that's a popular thing. We're going to talk about that tonight, too, man. What about you? What's going yeah. on with you? What's been new? Me? Let them know what's been new. Me? Yeah, you. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I finally just have one job now. I left the other one. One job. That's right. Focusing on m- 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 massaging. Yeah. Oh, it is. Rubby, rubby, rubby. Rubby, rubby. That's a little rubby. That's a little rubby. I hate you. <laughs> but no, nothing else really other than a new car, you know, new bills. That's right. New Bentley on Twitter. Birthday coming up. Well, I said, I said, damn. Mm-hmm. She pulled up on that thing. That thing's Klein. That thing was who? Klein. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's Klein. It was Klein. It was Klein. It was Klein. I thought it was new. We was outside playing because she, uh, I think when she chirped the car, the wind, the, uh, the side mirrors come in. Oh, yeah, that's expensive. I said, damn. Yeah. Where you get the ball, ba- Batmobile from? Carbon <laughs> <laughs> transforming shit. Like, oh, yeah, go ahead. I put this in some briefcase and put it in the house. I said, you deserve it here. She did three years working, two jobs every day. Man. It's possible. After the other car broke down on the ice. She deserved it. Look. <laughs> that piece of shit. <laughs> Thank you, Toyota. But <laughs> it's time to move on. What about you, man? What's going on? What's new, man? Oh, man. I've been chilling, man. I got this big-ass gallon of water from... Uh, it's like a water bottle, right? Whole gallon or some shit like that. But it's from uh, Amazon. 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I ain't seen no no big ass. You mean the I got one. like the different colors or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was on my mind black and the only word, yeah, it got motivational little stuff and times that you're supposed to keep track of. I've been getting it in, y'all. This come from a nigga that can't drink water. But go ahead, I'm listening. Hey, y'all seen the challenge. Y'all seen the challenge. I'm getting, I'm practicing. drowning. Fuck this man got, he got big ass jaws and he holds shit in his jaws for a living. They got to do me drinking my water. That yeah, motherfucker was drinking the shit out that water that day. You got the jaws. I got the lungs. What he got? All the L's. <laughs> <laughs> he got all the L's. <laughs> 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 Y'all seen the challenge? Life is good, man. Like I said, I'm getting my water intake, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Life is good. <laughs> so we recap. That's all right. That's what's been going on these past three months. We ain't did a podcast. So we back. We back. We're going to let that boy A take us off. What we going to start with tonight, man? Alright, um, so some of the topics that I want to talk about. Have y'all heard about T.I. and Tiny's controversy? I heard y'all got sex trafficking or raping people or some shit. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, something man. Like what y'all think about it, man? They say that, I mean, it's all over social media now and they trying to fight it, but they saying that they've been inviting women to join them in their bedroom. I mean, how many times could you have different people say the exact same thing about it? The exact same thing. It's, it's one thing for one or two people, but then you have Everybody with the same exact story. Somebody lying, and they motherfuckers got the same exact story. <laughs> hey, is they gonna get Tom like a Bill Cosby? Nah, drug I don't even think they gonna get charged because they can't nobody prove it. They, some people can't prove it unless you got text messages. Who's that one on? Oh, who's that uh, that went on Instagram and, and ran their mouth? Who's that one on Instagram and ran their mouth? Okay, ain't no help back there. Okay, we ain't no help back there. <laughs> it's one of those girls running their mouth about it. Uh, I don't know. Was that I didn't see it. Kinda, yeah, like there that. you go. She said something about it on Instagram Live. They try to re- retract her statement on another Instagram Live. <laughs> I guess it would just come down to somebody suing. Because back when we used to talk about Bill Cosby, I mean, hell, that was unprecedented for somebody to be charged with something without proof. After so many fucking years of that. Yeah, yeah. Was, was 40, 50, 40, 50 years? I mean, not that So many, after but, all oh, those no. years versus people who just now. Coming out with Tiny. They gonna get that. They gonna be in the cell right next to that nigga. I don't know. Look at the pudding. Mmm. So stupid. <laughs> hey, they did put a. They did put Bill Cosby on Ti's face though. I said, damn man, y'all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but I don't know, man. Like for one, it's just a weird. That's a weird thing for me. I gotta play devil's advocate and say, oh, you know, you if you go. gonna join a couple in their bedroom mm-hmm. and then you come back later saying that, oh, that ain't what I signed up for. That don't that don't sound right to me. Something about that make it sound like you out you in it for money, especially these famous people. I feel like if, they, if you if you're doing it, you technically kind of kind of should know what you said no for. I know because they are famous and people are assuming that money is gonna be involved. But at the same time, once you change your mind, there is no written negotiation, no contract, mm-hmm. and they say no. That's still. That's that's right. right? No means no. How you like you can? It's like how can you have sex with somebody? You can't take that back. But yeah. if they say no before they even start having sex, that's the whole situation. I agree with that. So I agree no means no in any kind of language. But then you in a situation where you got Ti and Tiny, mm-hmm. so that's two against one. Even if it wasn't his wife, but somebody that's saying that no, no, that's not what happened. How do you defend yourself? Yeah, you just said there's a whole bunch of witnesses saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. Right, see? I mean, yeah, <laughs> two against 10, two against 15. It, it, would, it would have to be, I guess. But that's fucked up. They got to stop having sex. They got to they gotta stop having sex with, with strangers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pick your designated that's person the and leave it what? there. Yeah, I tell you, they have having sex what with strangers. What was the Craigslist? Craigslist, we need a sex list. <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> what? It was like, they just took their head out of the door. They was like, you and you. You and you. Yeah, come on. Join us. Craigslist. So it kind of really, makes me really to be roofed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, I, I think that's the culture, though. I think that's the culture. When you got enough money, they just live a different lifestyle than we do, mm-hmm. and so people are willing to take part in that, and people are willing to go ahead and sue your ass after after the fact. So I don't think nobody really willing to do it. To sue them? Not to sue. To have sex with them? I think they get overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Well, maybe like, Overwhelmed by They've been having sex with T.I. but yeah. not Tiny. 
overwhelmed by Barney. <laughs> what you say they willing to have sex with T.I. Yeah, but not Tiny? Yeah, yeah. All they play is a surgery. They're probably like, ooh. Hey, y'all dumb. Hey, you sit in the lobby <laughs> while we do this real quick? So you going to hold the camera? You going to hold the camera? Okay. Okay. She gotta be here. No, she already. <laughs> she go like the final swing of the move. Right now. See, I try to, see, I try to smooth talk this shit. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Yeah, you, you can have whatever you like. You know. Just, yeah. <laughs> you can have whatever you like. Just like this, you know. You know all that shit. She like, damn. Just close your eyes, baby. Take some drugs. <laughs> Take some drugs. You just judge. You can't say no. <laughs> you can't say no. It's just crazy though, because like this shit is just. So normal that we just don't know about how people really do it. Yeah, I mean, there's probably world. thousands of rich folk, probably not even celebrities, just rich people who do this shit on the daily. Drug people and have sex with them. Yeah, think about it. how can we just talk about the wiggle orgies they used to have at the house, those parties and shit like that. Mm-hmm. This shit normal to them. <laughs> Playboy it, it, it just ain't normal to us because <laughs> like a motherfucker like us, like what the what the fuck? <laughs> and and I think for me that's what it feel like. It feel like it's. Is normal to them. This is normal, normal activity. Mm-hmm. So that's the lifestyle, man. I don't know. People get real sensitive about it, and they say that you know that these people like Ti and Tiny should know better. But I also think that some responsibility falls on the individual that put themselves in a position to have somebody spike their drink, to have somebody give them drugs. If you taking cocaine and all these other drugs that that willingly. You gotta be able to accept the responsibility of what happened when you're intoxicated. If you don't know that they put stuff right. in your drink, then that's the difference. You can't use that scenario because it's the same thing as a woman getting roofied and getting raped. You can't like you were willingly going out, so you willingly took the chance of doing it. Right? I give her responsibility for going out to use drugs. If she chooses to use drugs, and then whatever happens after that is her decision. Even if it's in a drink that she don't know nothing about. I'm saying if she don't know nothing about it, she didn't willingly do it. But a lot of oh, I know people. Here. I know people that use drugs at parties and then they go ahead they like to have sex that's the type of hey, stuff they pop do this they, real quick. but from some of the stories it's like they make you come in the room and they, the dude is scared you i tell you you need to take this pill mm-hmm. but you're not willing you're getting forced yeah. i agree i just think when money's involved it's a little shady i don't think 100 percent of these motherfuckers telling the truth okay so you think it's a victim's fault i'm a victim blamer at times oh jesus <laughs> but legally, i do okay, believe that people Hmm. Say it again. Legally, you cannot consent if you're intoxicated. Legally. So you would have somebody sex with somebody that can't consent? Hmm. Hmm. What if both the parties are intoxicated? Who's to blame? Ain't no way they are intoxicated. The fucking Ain't no way aggressor. both of them were intoxicated? I don't think they were The fucking aggressor is. Whoever's the aggressor is the, is the one to blame. If they both have sex, they were both intoxicated, you gonna blame one over the other? The yeah. aggressor. I don't know. Who's the aggressor? What if he wake up the next morning saying this will happen to me? Then she, whoever the aggressor is. Well, they both, and then if they both do it, it's a very tricky situation to be able to say he, somebody's the fault, at fault when so they you both. Say it's their fault that they went to have sex with them initially. I'm and only. Then, and then, or <clears throat> that they went and think it was one thing, and then they, as soon as they hit the door, take these drugs, and then the person says no, the person's cell phone gets taken away and they're taking against their will. So they still ain't fault they went over there? Look at No, I'm listening. Don't look at me. I'm listening. So my response to that is that I believe that adults make adult decisions. You put yourself in... Adults. 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 I think that you put yourself in a position sometimes that makes you vulnerable. You gotta, and you gotta That's be able question. to accept that as an adult. My question is... Is it their fault? <laughs> 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 That's no question. It's simple. It's their fault for going over In your opinion. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is good water right here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? oh, I don't know. I don't want to be a bad guy, but I do think it's true. You got to accept some responsibility on that. So if you it was, accept some responsibility for getting raped? I think if it was me putting was myself in that position. If it was your daughter. She would know damn better. No, I don't know. Yeah. She know yeah. The question is. You don't, take you, don't drugs, you don't take drinks from strangers. No. You don't do this. You, you skip it. You daughter, skip it. Her whole point of what she's saying. She's saying you have a choice daughter, to go. Period. If you did have a choice to go, no. she's making the choice to go. Oh, she oh. made the choice to go. Okay. They say, "Here, take these drugs." Your daughter says, "No, I don't want to take the drugs." They take her in whatever dwelling they're in against mm-hmm. her will. That's kidnapping. Okay, right. That's which is what they're accused of. 
you So are you saying it would be your daughter's fault for even going? I'm saying. Yes or no? It's a yes or no. Yes it's or not no? that simple. It is. It it's is. not that yes. simple. Because hold on, hold on, I'm gonna say this. One, why are you going to a party alone? Two, why are you going to a party uh that you don't know these people who are That's capable irrelevant. of doing these things? Yes or no? It's, it's not irrelevant. Is that, is I think that all of yes these no. all of these mitigating factors make a difference. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He they the do. He bring the factors. They He's do. Like, yes, no I person. don't think it's as simple and cut and dry as y'all putting it though. Y'all saying that because it's, you really don't know what you don't happened know what for them to go. Or you don't know what happened. But what I was saying, they could have been there with somebody else, but that other person could have been dragged off to do something. Or else. they could have went there and the guys of okay, maybe because clearly they have money and they're in the, in the industry. Mm-hmm. Hey, come over here. Which was one story that came out that looked like that. It was a white girl and. She was talking to somebody and Tanya overheard it and said, hey, come to the hotel. And they basically tried to do the same shit to her. So it was under the guise of, here's an opportunity, not mm-hmm. even sex. Right. So comment below what y'all think. Give us, do you he's, think he's tripping? Is they is they fault? He's tripping. He, 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 he's tripping. <laughs> he's tripping. He's tripping. Hey, no. when money's involved, you don't know these people's motives. That's all I'm saying. You don't. You anyway, don't know comment don't below. Know. Give us y'all opinion. You think that... Is they the victim's fault or is it their fault? Should they be charged to get the Bill Cassidy treatment? That's tough. I, feel like I hate those charged. words. I hate those words that y'all choose. What? They should be charged. Is it the victim's fault? But you, you just said it. You said you were victim, boy. You gave me no choice. You made me answer a question that was just like very blunt. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> like that. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But you do have to accept responsibility for your for actions. For being victimized. Okay, so put it this way. If somebody walking down the street by themselves and they get kidnapped and raped, or is they not walking down the street by themselves? It depends on the situation. Anyways, next so, subject. So, so, if you, so do you believe that if a woman is dressed a certain type of way and she gets raped, it's her fault? That's like me coming over. There Instead of like blaming me. the person that is the aggressor for not controlling their fucking urges? It depends on the situation. No. Next subject. Absolutely not. What we got next? He got to get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> next subject. I mean, the next subject, all right? Uh, did y'all hear about the stock market situation going on? I heard about it, so no, what was going on? All right, so <laughs> apparently uh, social media influenced people to buy GameStop. Mm-hmm. Stop. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. GameStop. GameStop. Stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of S's. It's a lot of ock. Ock. And all right, so... Um, Apparently, they started getting rich off of it, though. Mm-hmm. It was very controversial because everybody went out to go buy it. It was flooded into it. And then um, what I started hearing is that these, I guess, brokering companies, mm-hmm. companies that you can buy on, you have your phone. The big dogs. Mm-hmm. They started to protect. Oh, like Robin Hood. Yeah, like Robin, Robin Hood and stuff. So they started people. to protect the billionaires from losing money. They allowed, They stopped allowing people to buy they just start cutting them off. Yeah. They start cutting them off. They're like, you can't buy this stock no more. And that's, it was very controversial because like at that point, they they are profiting off of right. the little, the middle man or the middle class citizen. But now that they losing their stock, you're trying to protect them. And it was just some backward stuff. But it just kind of put me in mind to think that the uh, Generation Z, they finding ways around America's like foundation. Like mm-hmm. all this stock market and stuff that they just take advantage of and they profit off of. But we don't really profit off of it. We put our money into it. Mm-hmm. They find a way around it, and it, it's supposed to be fair. So my thing is, when you lose money, you lose your fucking money. But that's because they gain money. You want to shut shit down. Mm-hmm. But if we, if we lose trillions of dollars to you, or we lose a hundred, couple thousand dollars to you, it's cool. But when we figure out a way to flip that shit on you your ass, it it's a problem. And I think that's what you got going on. Because, I mean, 30 years ago, they didn't have uh, Twitter. which and Twitter and Probably Facebook and 50 years ago, they didn't have like this social media to get you there. All this information is instant. Mm -hmm. So if you came up with an idea, which is like, remember last summer, what was that people was doing with the pyramids? Not the pyramids, it was like the circles. It was like like a circle, but it was a circle. It was a circle, yeah. Uh, Yeah, like I ain't heard shit about that shit in how long. (laughs) But people, but you know what? It was, it was some people, somebody was profiting off of it. Mm -hmm. And that was the whole thing. And that's a that's more of a social thing than it is like the news or any foundational structure of America. Yep. That was money shared amongst a group of people mm-hmm. that people were profiting off of. And that's the idea that, whew, I mean, that's, if you could take it there, that gets rid of the taxes, they get rid of, of everything. It, 
it's one of them things like, damn. All right, well, we find them. Like, like you said, it's, that long ago, it wasn't no way for people to get information out. So somebody got that come up. They got that come up by themselves. Yep. It wasn't no telling nobody else that fast for them to come up too. Yep. So they let that shit slide probably then. Yep. Oh, they let that shit slide now. Oh, that shit but now they see everybody catch uh, film. Shut it down. Shut, shut it down. It down. But you, how, where, where do you go from here though? Because now that you, you realize they can do this at any given time. Mm-hmm. They can say, okay, draw all your stock from this company and we're going to invest in this company. And now that everybody invested in this company, the money mm-hmm. shifted. It shifted. Yeah. And everybody else losing. They gonna start. They gonna make a rule where not too many people can take their stocks at the same time. Yeah. Like, all right, when we get to like a hundred thousand, cut that shit though. Can't nobody do it. You gonna be they, gonna, they gonna start. They, they gonna start making cheat codes where you. They like, all right, we see it's a trend going. Shut this shit down real fast. We we holding your stock. You can't take your stock out for another ten to twelve business days. It's gonna change the game. It is. It change is. the game. But that's that, that lets you know how much government is bullshit. That's the truth too. It's bullshit because. You want your people to, to invest. You want your people to try to build their own income. But when they do the right thing and go about it the right way, you shut them down. No, mm-hmm. nah, but you're going to make this money the way we want you to make this money. I'm just trying to the make money the way you make your money. Right. You're thinking that. And don't do this. That's all it is. Like, we want to do embezzle money like y'all embezzle money. I ain't trying to bite the hand that feeds me. Let me cheat the uh, system like y'all cheat the system. Much, much, mm-hmm. But that's the truth. That's all it is. The stock market is built for them to make money off of us trying to build money. And yeah. then when we build money from them, and they're not making the money that we building, it's an issue. That kind of brings me to the next question I was going to ask. Do you think that America uh, is falling apart? Yeah. Between Rona, the stock market, and everything that's going on? Political. Everything. Republicans, Democrats. Political is trying to yeah. get back to normal since we had a new president. They're trying they try, to, they try to get, get back. us back out of knowing what they're doing. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. with, with your boy, the orange, we knew everything that was going on. <laughs> the orange. The orange. Have you ever seen the, the TV show, The Talking Orange? Yeah, the Spalding. <laughs> the Spalding was out there. We knew everything we should have known. That's Spalding. That's Spalding. <laughs> Take the nigga Prime and shit. We knew everything we should have known. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I feel like, yeah. I feel like it is, though, man. You just see, you know, people's real colors being shown. Mm-hmm. You start seeing people being vocal well, we, we about what they feel. Before it's just it came out more. It's tougher now. It, it came out. It came out more. We already seen motherfuckers true colors, but with Spalding, everybody just felt it was okay to go ahead and just. Spalding. It was okay for you to just wear it out on your sleeves now. I feel like. I guess this question for me it means like the structures of America because you know people always been racist mm-hmm. in their own way. But it was kind the of structures crazy. were not shown to be racist right. inherited. But you start seeing, like right now, over the last 10 years, we realized that the criminal justice system needs to be reformed mm-hmm. and that it has racial undertones. I mean, you were, wait, let's go back to Mike Brown. They, they realized that these local governments were profiting off of giving tickets. Right. You start seeing in February, in November, they start arresting more people so they can meet their quota. Right. Like that type Just of stuff, no yeah. That that type of stuff is going on, and now you look at it now, people. So people already got a, an opinion that the criminal justice reform needs to happen, right? Mm-hmm. But then you start looking at the rest of the government. Why is race even on a lot of applications and things? Because or, it wasn't meant for people outside of the Caucasian race to succeed. Or look at COVID and how it's affected the school system now. These kids were being schooled from home, and. The businesses didn't give a fuck that the parents had to school their kids. Right. Um, and then you also look at the situation where um, the teachers felt like, oh, well, I'm not putting myself at risk either. Right. It, COVID kind of flipped everything around and exposed some stuff. I feel on. like now people starting to lighten up because of those vaccinations, though. But, shit, the vaccinations don't shit change. Shit, you still can't go nowhere without a mask on. Shit still ain't opening. What the fuck is the difference? Because now they feel like Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I, I need the shot. But you can still catch the shit with the shot. <laughs> it makes them feel better to have the shot. It's more like they get the first doses. They still caught the motherfucker waiting for the second doses. Yeah, some people don't. <laughs> 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 the second dose. Right, oh, the dude. fuck? You get the first dose and you still catch that bitch in the process of waiting for the second dose? Yeah, man. That's just stupid, man. But it's like... It ain't nothing but a flu shot. What, it, what, <laughs> is, what it's doing is, tr- is trying to force us to rethink how we do things. Mm-hmm. 
honestly, I thought that it was like a trial or a test run to make us see how productive we can actually be without spending more money on like business, like buildings. By staying like inside? By staying inside and being more productive. Do you to... think you was more productive during this time period or no? Fuck no, I got lazy. Listen, it was a whole bunch of goddamn uh, online boutiques though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of small businesses opened up. It, people start working for themselves. It helped a lot of people step out of their comfort zone and do new things, but it made a lot of motherfuckers just lazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's all it is. I mean, TikTok made niggas the most more creative people we already already are. That's true. We already created TikTok to got creativity to another level. I think you got that. You like you said, you got those boutiques that opened up. I start seeing people start their own printing companies. People starting to make their own drawers, uh, makeup. People Mm -hmm. out here trying to still sell them different masks. Mm -hmm. Yep, they make them. They doing their own hair. You should have been doing your own fucking. <laughs> and plus, my hair is like that long right now. Them motherfuckers know I did Hey, I don't know if y'all caught that. Was like, what were you on the other? First off, I had to think about it. Like, first off, I ain't never seen you do your own braids. I do do my own hair. I just don't braid my hair only mm. because I'm in that transition. I'm growing it back because. I don't know how to cooperate with wigs. Yeah. That's too much cooperate. <laughs> wow. Cooperate. Cooperate. Mm-hmm. With wigs. I ain't never seen you in a wig. Because them late trunks is too much. Like, you ever be looking at somebody and you can tell for a <laughs> it fact. It was all like this. Bro, you be like. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. Put that bitch to the left just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> Shift bit. Shift it down and to the left. Just a little bit. Down and to the left. And you be good. So, yeah. With that, yeah, I feel like everything is fucked up. The world is fucked up. Is it going to be fixed? Eventually. 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 I mean, you see a lot more people now going on those keto diets. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to have to find a way to, to lose this weight. Because if not, you're going to be like, like Wally, that Wally movie that everybody's in chairs. <laughs> That's what he's going to be like. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. everybody. Comment below what y'all think. Y'all think that the world is fucked up? Fu- no what's, what's the question? Uh, is the world what's falling apart? Is the world Are American structure, like they, society structures, are they falling apart? I mean, does... The, the American dream still exists. No. All of that stuff, y'all. Comment below. Comment below. What we got next? I heard about Chad Willow and the new, I think he played with the Seahawks, right? And he beat his the white boy who beat the black girl. White boy that beat his black. Uh huh. It's on Massa. Beat his black girlfriend. And uh, ain't, ain't shit happened to Well, apparently NFL hasn't responded. They ain't suspended him. They ain't did nothing. Because he white beating on a black woman. There's no reason for them to say nothing. It is a racial thing. Roy Rice beat his black woman. Right, his right, black- right, right, right. Ray Rice beat his black his black girlfriend and what happened? We ain't seen that nigga in the league since. Chad right. Ocho Cinco then whooped everybody. He didn't say it, but the fuck out of her. It ain't nothing happened. Adrian Peterson whipped his, his kids. own kids and got disciplined. Suspended for a whole year? Thank you. Not a whole year. It's well, half a season. It's rest of the year? Yeah. So, but yeah, Chad. You, Chad it's, Chad it's a race thing. thing. Especially right now. It's a race thing. Especially right now. Because for. A white man to put his hands on a black woman. No, I stop being that way. And then they gonna blame it on her saying she was out of her, out of her, out of place. Uh, yeah. She's being loud and obnoxious. And to where some people are like, well, mm-hmm. what did she do mm-hmm. to get that? Because she mm-hmm. didn't. Now the part where she because she didn't bow to him, that's fucked up. Hey, that, I read that shit. That's I said, fucked up. Bow to you. Bow to you. What the fuck? Was he drunk when that? Nah, he, had or he was he, just on some regular. He was on some regular, regular shit. shit. This shit is probably normal in the, they household. Mm, and she didn't do it and that she, one time. She wasn't doing shit because of that money. That money's like, you know what? You know, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get this money. Which is the dumbest shit ever. Good baby, Tiny and Tony. I mean, Ti and Tiny. Ti and Tony. Yeah, Ti and Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. 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 Right. <laughs> yeah, it's Tony. the money. It's good. Huh? So she's like, she's, I can I can deal with a little bit of abuse here and there for this money. And then he went floor. He went floor with Mike Tyson on her ass, and it's it's rap. Yeah, it ain't no excuse for him to do that because them, them, them mug shots look horrible. Oh, so you said it's not her fault? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> it depends on the situation, though. <laughs> what? You just said that if she been dealing with this all this time but, 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 and now it finally... It's still not okay. No, no matter what he do, it's, it, it's still all this is wasn't okay. You know? That changes my perspective if she been dealing with it all this time. It don't matter. It still ain't right regardless. I ain't saying it's right. 
but I feel less sympathetic for her if she's been dealing with this this all the time. Oh, my God. That's like you saying women who be in abusive relationships. Doesn't that have your Because they know how to get out of it, they just don't. Is some women just don't know how? Some are not capable. Some don't have the means to. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's from the streets. Maybe she ain't got a place to go. Maybe back. she might have been whooping his ass and he had enough. Maybe she's taking care of her family and her family. Ain't <laughs> so look, if y'all can play this what if game amongst yourself. <laughs> Then how come I can't say? Because you go too far. I taxes. go too far. You go too no, far. We saw that. No, the difference is you're a victim blamer. I don't go too far. And you see the yeah, signs. Y'all go too far. You see the sign of the oppressor like a damn white man. That's your issue. That's the fucking issue. <laughs> I hope y'all heard that. White man hairs. <laughs> Goddamn woman hair. <laughs> Like this. Uh, and as soon as they're ready, like, come on. Like, 
Oh, damn. She put a glove on, like, you know what this means? You know what this means? Nope. You know what this so she are closing the door. She's not allowed to. Um, the Silver White Challenge. Uh, I, I ain't got a problem with it. I feel like it's empowering black women. Depending on how they do it. That and that Busted Challenge, I really don't. The Busted Challenge, wow. Uh, the the Busted Challenge, challenge was, was going too far. Yeah, that, was, that was different. It was going too that far. That was different. Yeah, yeah, Leave I, that for the OnlyFans. That, Everything else, like, y'all got little kids watching these. Yeah, but they watch the Silver White Challenge, too. Yeah. Some people I feel like part of with the Silver White Huh? Some people were classy with the silhouette. I Some feel like people, a lot of it is just them trying to be self-conscious and self-feeling, self-motivating themselves. And that's what it is. A lot of them was doing it was like, all right, I know I look good, but I feel like I look better than what I look, if that makes any sense. Sometimes like, I, I feel like they're just doing this shit for likes. It's people that's doing it just for likes. <laughs> like, that's so, definitely what they're doing. doing. Yeah, but it's some of them that, that want that boosted confidence. They're trying to get their self-confidence, their self-esteem up. I just thought it was fun. It looked fun. You want to do one like to her? Nah. Like, to hear it funny, bro. Shout out to it. It's just biscuits. If I if I use the spoon, it won't get on my shirt. <laughs> they said you use the spoon, it pop right open. Cut the light up. What the hell? It's just biscuits. He almost didn't finish the video when I was like, that's funny. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck are watching? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I don't you ain't got an issue with it. I don't have an issue with it. If, if I don't. Just please don't take this too far. Like these little simple TikTok challenges that they're doing, it's always that one person that make it a trend to take it way too far. The porn stars. Leave it at the OnlyFans yeah. page. The porn stars the don't take it too far. The porn stars. Yeah. yeah. You the average porn stars. Yeah. Yeah. Even the real life, the real, real porn stars is like, nah, bro. Your mama's on here. <laughs> my mama know what I do for a living. Like she, she was there recording. <laughs> oh my god, she helped me edit. Looking at. Oh, <laughs> she helped me edit. All I say is, if you're gonna do it, be careful because it's motherfuckers that they found out a way to take the red filter off. So if you're gonna do it, yeah, I did be careful. About that too. That be crazy. tasteful. Be, be careful. Be just be tasteful. Be confident. I love y'all black women. Be confident, but be careful. Yes, please, ooh, please be careful because y'all got ladies. Mm-hmm. There's some perverts and some creeps out here. Mm-hmm. And if they see you in person, mm-hmm. I hope you got a gun. Can you walk until you put my hands on your You better just pop, pop, pop. Then Harris like, I don't feel as bad for her because she did it. <laughs> <laughs> she knew what she, she knew what she was doing. <laughs> and I don't feel bad. She's like, why did she do it? <laughs> Bring it out. I'll tell y'all how I feel. I do. Wait, how you feel? I do. I feel like I feel like I seen it done very classy, where it couldn't be exposed. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? These real life probably wouldn't have made a big difference because they did it the right way. But I also seen some people who really trying to show everything. Mm -hmm. Got to leave some stuff to the imagination. Why? (laughs) What you mean? Why? I know you've been trying to say what the woman does. Hell yeah. I ain't shit then. That's because that's true. Man. We can't win with this thing today. This thing ain't gonna be a punishment. I'm trying to save him. I'm trying to save him, please. I'm just Look, saying. He didn't want to forget the water with the hand up trying about to drown him. We got we putting our hand out, then nigga pull the hand back down. Nigga, we are trying no, to save you. Hey. Come here. But no, y'all, y'all know y'all know me. Y'all know me. I'm not feeling I will sugarcoat some stuff, but it's some stuff that I'm like, yo. This stuff we don't need you to put that sugar on it. Just put a cover over it and leave it where it is. Just lay it down. Lay it down. Like the song says, just lay it down. I don't know. It's okay. You do a silly little challenge. Let's go ahead. Hey. No. Hey, man. You <laughs> thought about it. It's like, yeah. Uh, I'm it. getting trouble. <laughs> you just clutch the pearls. I just clutch the pearls. I'm just trying to open some ice cream. Gotta cover up, man. You know? I'm just trying to open some ice cream. You gotta leave some stuff to the imagination, man. This guy. We back. That's another episode of If You Will. Hey, y'all need to get the one button. Yeah, y'all about to punch me in my chest. <laughs> Jesus. Another episode, if you will, you know, follow us on follow me on Instagram, William Kibble Jr. 35. Uh, Twitter, Kibble Z35. TikTok, Kibble Z35. Snapchat, William Kibble. You know, check out our YouTube channel if you're listening to the podcast, if you will. We got a new intro, we got a new outro. Check them off out. Yes, we do. It's hot. It's hot. 
What about you? You don't know what you Go ahead and follow me on IG at Cheve underscore is one. Yup, Instagram, find your boy Ty underscore of underscore running. Like and subscribe, y'all. Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. It's a new year. Did you change your picture? Huh? It's a new year. No, he ain't changed his picture. Oh, I still got the same picture. So. <laughs> I might change it. I might change it. You know, it's a new year. We coming out of COVID. Because you got a whole new hairstyle, too. So I do. That's what was crazy. We was making this now, um, the intro and the outro video, y'all. And I'm like, oh, yeah, the pictures with the hair. I was, I was like, like, man. Yeah, that shit did change completely. Yes. That's been a whole progress. I almost put one on there with the half done twist. It was crazy. Anyway. Yeah, if you've been paying attention to you've been watching, you've been seeing all the challenges. If you follow us on the podcast, you follow us on YouTube, seeing all the challenges. You know my boy 0 for 7. It's my life yeah. journey. We got a, another challenge next week. We're going to do the mystery box next week. And then mystery, box. mystery box. <laughs> and then the week after that, we're going to try something crazy. We're going to do a yoga challenge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're going to do a yoga challenge. So, if y'all. How fit is everybody? <laughs> ain't nothing about being fit. Ain't none of us motherfucking flexible. Man. And I'm going to have to lift his big ass. So, it's gonna be, this, 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 this might go left. This might go right. We might be like, <laughs> we might be like, 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 So, yeah, this, if you will, stay tuned. Look out for everything that's coming soon. Follow us, subscribe, like, tell your auntie, your uncle, your granny, your cousin, your sister, your mama, your brother. And just don't talk to Harris about serious situations. Cause he'll say you the victim. I'm gonna he, tell you the truth. He don't like the victim. They gonna lie to you. He, he ain't gonna lie to you. He gonna make you feel bad. But it's if you will. Fuck with us. I don't lie. <laughs> I don't lie. Ooh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my knee. <laughs> <laughs>